Alrighty, so now that her eyebrows are done and they have been cut, I put I did go ahead and put her concealer underneath just to kind of carry on the blending that I was doing. And now we're gonna start with her eyes. So I'm gonna start with a very light nude tan color and we're just gonna put this in her crease. Now I'm going in with a brown and I'm doing this on her outer corner. Um, so you always wanna go right underneath your brow bone where the natural shadow is gonna be. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking a brown eyeshadow with a fine, um, fine brush and I'm just gonna create the look of eyeliner and then I'm gonna kinda blend it out. Now when you're matching to a skin tone and maybe they have blotchy skin, are you trying to match to the neck or are you matching, like how do you match a skin? Yes, yeah, so you always want to match to their neck. Um, and then right before I put it on, I'm looking at her arms and her neck and her chest because a lot of times um, they can be a lot tanner on their arms or chest. Um, and then, so you kind of just want to meet in the middle. Interesting. Um, you can't match their face because it's going to be a lot lighter. Mm -hmm. um, but they may have reddish. Yeah, you yeah. always want to apply it right here at their jawline. All right, so what I'm doing now for August is I'm just using a powder bronzer, um, a matte bronzer, to give her some definition. I'm contouring her face, um, and when I use a powder, I think that's more of like an everyday look versus a cream powder, or a cream um, contour. So I'm just kind of blending that in. So when you contour, okay, so it explains to me, because I've always been curious about contouring. You know, what is the point of contouring and where do you put it to where it's not going to, you know, conflict with your blush or something like that? So with contour, it is always where you have a natural shadow or hollow in your face. So um, you would like to put it right on your cheekbones, right where that hollow is. And then you can put a little bit on your forehead and then even some on your neck just to kind of sculpt the face. And then with highlighting, you want to highlight lighter where you want things to pop. So that's usually right under your eyes, right at the tip of your chin, tip of your nose, and right in the middle of your forehead. Okay. Blush is like a huge like hit or miss. A lot of people don't do blush because they've just been like scarred in the past by some really bad blush experience. But blush is um, basically giving the look of that natural rosy cheek to your client. Um, so you want that. You don't want to look really washed out by the pigment of your foundation. And then you, you just want to add some life back into the skin, which is what sure. blush does. The reason I place it right at the bone of her cheek and then a little bit up is because it draws the attention up and it makes the face look a little bit thinner, mm. a little bit more narrow, and it's just, it, your eyes are going to follow exactly right. where it needs to follow. Lip lining. It gives you that, um, it's kind of like before you color, you outline your picture because you want to keep the color in place. That's kind of what lining the lips does. Um, for some people that maybe have finer lips, um, you would want to outline it just a little bit over the line so that it can give the appearance of fuller lips. And look at Charles again real quick so they can see your lip color. I think this is such a pretty color because it's, you know, you called it a nude, so it's in the nude realm, but it still has a little bit of like rosiness to it or something. Yeah, yeah. Like it still has a little bit of color that, that is <laughs> very flattering. Yes, yeah, so this tied in with the color on her eyeshadow um, and it just kind of puts the whole look together. Like I said, um, cheeks were like something that people forget a lot and lips, a lot of people skip lips and I feel like you need something, mm -hmm. whether it's a tinted chapstick or a little bit of a color. Um, you always want to put it on because your face will look very washed out without it. You know, this has been super fun. Thank you, Jamie, for yeah, kind of welcoming so us in today and, and uh, making August look beautiful. Now you have to go do something special after this. I know exactly. Don't let it go to waste. Right, you know? exactly. Thank <laughs> you. <Yeah. for> sure. <laughs> And of course, if you'd like to learn more, if you want to get in touch with Jamie at JM Artistry, the salon, you can visit the information on your screen.